middle of the Mojave Desert, Las Vegas, Nevada. We share, we share a bond with you that you may not realize. Las Vegas and Boston, we have a, we have an unbreakable bond. It's not just, not just the one that we've developed over the years with each other between the killers. Have you ever heard of Cheers? Okay. The writers of Cheers, and th their names were Glenn and Les Charles, and they were from Las Vegas, Nevada. And, uh, they may not have been filmed in Boston, but they embraced Boston with a show. Sam Malone, he didn't pitch for the Yankees. He didn't pitch for the Phillies. Mayday Malone, he threw for the Red Sox. And uh, my mom and dad, their parents lived, you know, their families lived in the same trailer park, and that's how they met. And they went to the same high school as Glenn and Les Charles did. And uh, my dad, he didn't finish, he dropped out in ninth grade. You know. <laughs> he thought he knew enough, you know, he was okay with that. But uh, my mom had this 54 Chevy that she got from her, her dad was a car salesman. And uh, he used to take her to school and, and pick her up after school and he would just kind of mess around during the day. I don't know what he did. My mom would tell us how sometimes he wouldn't even show up to pick her up you know, in her own car. And uh, it was, uh, she, she still stuck with him, you know, she saw something about him. I'm thankful she stayed with him. I wouldn't be here. But, uh, so this, uh, this next song uh, is sort of uh, starts out with them in that trailer park somewhere out there in the desert. And, and it ends, it ends, uh, being about more what they represented to me, we're going to play it for you now. It does that fairy tale begin with just another white trash county kiss in 61.